Greetings, Lightners, and welcome back to Ralsei Plays Undertale. So last episode, we kind of had some more encounters with the Bone Brothers, and in this ep and well, we dealt with dogs. In this episode, we're continuing through this snowy wonderland. So let's see where that takes us. Ice Cap and Jerry. The fuck is Jerry? Well, let's check the Ice Cap. Attack 11, Defense 4. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Alright. Uh, whoa, okay then. That's a hell of a wavy attack. Ouch! Okay, so this is without covering its nose. Ice Cap, uh, let's ignore him. Alright, Terry, you managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here! Okay, well that takes. I think that takes care of Ice Cap. I don't know for certain. No? Okay, uh, Ice Cap, uh, let's compliment the hat. I don't think that worked. I'm guessing we have to steal it? Alright, you tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Alright, so that went that. Oh! Spikes coming out of pipes. Spike pipes. Okay, uh, let's keep ignoring the hat. It seems defeated. I'll ignore you. Alright, let's just keep dodging all of these weird icicles. Alright, huh? Did they ditch? Jerry sneezes the- Ew, you're gross. Uh, ditch. Even the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Wow, you don't even spare him, you just ditch him. Like, that's how much of a crap no one gives about Jerry. There's a switch hidden in the snow. I guess we hit a switch. I was just going over there to investigate, I pressed A at random. Oh well. Alright, let's, uh, clear this out. Alright, and oh, it literally just shows us the way. Alright, well, that aside, uh, let's cross this bridge and let's make our way. Uh oh, dogs with axes! Axe dogs! Alright, what's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify yourself! Okay then, uh, hmm, here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! No oh, crud. Doggy assault you. Okay, Doggy and Dogaressa. Attack 14, defense 5. Husband of Dogaressa. Only knows what he smells. Number 2, Nuzzle Champs, 98. Of course we were second. Aw, they're a couple. That's cute. They have quite the attack pattern, it seems. Or at least one of them does. Dogaressa. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a hint to that somewhere, I think. Okay, uh, let's, um, let's try to roll around. Alright, I smell like a weird puppy. Alright, let's get human tails. Do humans have tails? No, they don't. I know Susie has a tail, but she doesn't want to admit it. Alright, uh, let's, uh... Pet? The dog's too suspicious of your smell. Okay, so I need to smell like a dog to do dog things. I guess. So, uh, roll around. Okay, so I've rolled around for both of them. Uh, now do I... We sniff? Okay, so now I smell like a little puppy. Oh, goodness! Oh, jeez! Those are some big axes! Okay, uh, I guess pet. A pet dog in me. Alright, now I have to pet Dogaressa. Those two are cute, though. Like, I like them. They're adorable. Alright. Now I've pet both of them. And their movements are slowing down. Interesting. And spare them! Alright! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy! If only they knew I was actually a human in disguise. Well, technically I'm a goat in disguise. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I think I get this. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Simple enough. Oh, there's Papyrus! I made sure he was out of the studio this time, so that way he didn't bother me. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Ate it. Really? Well, we. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, 
Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. They did that backwards on purpose, didn't he? Okay, my brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try to solve the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give the answer away. Oh boy. Well, this certainly does look complicated. Okay, so maybe if I do like this... Hmm... Maybe do one of these. Okay, so far so good. Nope, oh, I hit the reset button. Well, to be fair... Probably for the best, because it doesn't seem like I could go any f No, I can't do that either, so reset button again. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Alright, let's uh, try this. No, because then I have to... Hmm, that didn't work. Alright, let's reset again. Okay. That and this. Okay, I think I might have a solution brewing here. Oh, I think I got it! Alright. All the way down, and boom! Got it! Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! <laughs> As he just scuttles away. Alright, well, on to the next puzzle! Hi, Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly! You didn't even need my help! Which is great, because I'd love doing absolutely nothing. You're a lazy son of a bone, aren't you? Oh, hello. Hey, it's the human. You're going to love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they'll begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented, they will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles, swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery, you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Uh, of course! Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. That has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Oh boy. I don't remember all these things. This is gonna be tough. Oh dear. Here we go! Uh... That was... <laughs> he just spun away. Oh, goodness gracious me. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. Okay. Oh my... Dog statues everywhere. Okay, seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the yeah, base of a snow dog. Uh, broken head of a snow dog. Base, head, base, head. Aware of dog, please pet dog. Okay. Let's see, seems like the base of a snow dog. Uh-huh, broken head. Who are you? A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. The net got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. Okay. Alright, so I'm seeing another slidey puzzle, so I guess we could solve this. Right, slide through. And down. This one doesn't seem too hard. It's definitely not like the last one, that's for sure. Yeah, that was simple enough. And that creates a 
pathway that we just slide through. Okay. It was a little house in our head. Okay, it's a snow puff. It's a lot of them. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Are they all snow puffs? Snow puff. It's really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh, there's 30G inside this. What is this? A snow puff? Okay, there's a tail. Oh, it's a puppy. It's an adorable little woof woof. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. It's the greater doggo. Oh, boy. He's certainly great. Uh, check. Attack 15, defense 8. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Okay, so, um, I guess I shall beckon it forth. Call the greater doggo. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber in your face. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's, uh, pet the doggo? Curls on in your lap and is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited! Okay, it's a big boy. Now let's play! You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. The greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Okay, let's not move then since doggo was sleeping. Okay, uh, let's pet it then. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Okay, I guess we just gotta pet the thing? Okay, pets away. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air, even though it's in a full suit of armor. And the spear is a dog, and the gauntlets are a dog. This is a weird dog, but I like it because it's cute. Like, you're adorable out of the armor! You're like a little Pomeranian. And... And now your butt's just out for the world to see! Now we're on a bridge. Okay, cross the bridge. Which is certainly taking its time. Uh, okay. Hi, boys! Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Well, that does seem deadly. Why is there a dog there? When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, are you gonna do it? What's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! Are you getting cool bones? That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes! Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Nyeh! Heh! Heh? I thought I was kind of in trouble there for a hot second. I don't know what my brother's got going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay. Seems simple enough. Oh, we're in town! Okay, cool, we've made it to town. I'm gonna save, because I, 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 I'm gonna call it here. Tune in next time as we explore the town and confront Papyrus, I guess. So, uh, till then. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. Let me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on. That way you know when I am venturing forth to face the Bone Boy. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being Cinemageddon Reviews, Erin Lena, Grimmie Leon, Hitsu Yona Kurodento, Honor Higgins, Aishibit88, Jesse Barbo6, Jesse Alvarez, Mighty Chlorophyte, Nagi Oki, Sonic Destroyer12, Sonic Star21, Panda475, Tim and Recluse, Bossmaker, Dewolf1414, Candy Honey Jade, Kylie Childs, Michaela Donnelly, Princess Funnybone, Ruby the Wolf, and Silver Fox MC. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, exclusive Let's Plays, and chance to use Let's Play for this channel, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this has been Ralsei, and I'll bring darkness to your lane again next time. Toodaloo!